Hello and welcome back to another exciting basketball game. Region 5 here at Mount Edgecombe High School. This is game 20 and this will be the Juno Crimson Bears versus the Sitka Wolves, Varsity Boys. My name is Peter Williams. And my name is Elias Ferguson. We are elite forts of Mount Edgecombe Video Productions. Very elite, I might add. I am going to announce for the Sitka High Wolves. And I will be announcing for the Juno Crimson Bears. As you can see, there is uh, Sika High Wolves right there for you on your screen. And the cheerleaders, Juno, Juno Douglas cheerleaders, right? That is right. Very nice. And the last game was between Juno and Sitka, and it was a girls varsity. And Juno won that by six points. I believe the final score was 47-41. Cheerleaders are doing their fancy sunset. Well, the gym is sure crowded tonight, Elias. I believe it was sold out. You can tell by the heat, man. Oh, I know, it's, it's toasty in here. And this is a pretty big gym here at Mount Edgecombe. We could cook some eggs. Aruga. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 1998 4A Boys Basketball Championship Game. Yeah, this is the 4A Championship Basketball Game. And we welcome you again. Tonight's game features the Sitka Wolves. Featuring Sitka Wolves, hooray. And they'll be playing the Juno Douglas High School Crimson Bears. And their opponent, the Juno Douglas Crimson Bears. All right. And the starting lineup for the Sitka Wolves. Starting lineup for the Sitka Wolves. Number 50, ben Brian, Benton. Brian Benton. A very huge guy. Number 40, Whoa. Number 40 Pat Crenna. Pat Crenna. Number 24, Number Jeff, 24 Keita. Jeff Keita. Number 21, Number 21 Jarrett Hirai. And the captain, number 33, and the captain, number 33 Aaron Bisson. And, you the the and the starting lineup for the Juno Douglas Crimson Bears. Number 33, Dan Baxter. Number 30, Christian Carpen Carpinetti. Number 25, Number 25 Robert Ridgway. Number 23, Number 23, Raymond Bradley. And the speaking captain, number four, Carlos Boozer. The Sika Wolves are coached by John Bisson. And the Douglas Bears are coached by George Houston. Well, you can see the Sika Wolves there huddled up, ready for the big game. Should be pretty exciting. Yes, sirree. The Sitka Wolves won their game last night by 32 points. Against Ketchikan High School. Well, there's the refs going the floor now. All we have to wait for is a tip off and the excitement will never end till the buzzer of the fourth quarter. Yep. Well, we have Pat Crenna for Sickle Wolves going to do the jump ball. Pack tipped the ball, but it went to Juno. And there we have number 25, Ridgeway, with the ball. And excuse me, I was a little slow there getting started, but here, Ridgeway again with the ball outside. Cross court pass to Carpinetti, and he'll shoot for three, and he makes it, and that's a good way to start off the ball game. 
Well, Aaron Bisson brings down the ball for Sikahai. Almost lost it there. Pass the ball to Pat Krina. Krina to Bisson. Bisson to Hirai. Hirai drives in. Hirai passes the ball to Krina. Krina to Hirai. Hirai does a little fake. Hirai out to Krina. Krina 4 2, and it is good. Score now is 3 Juno and 2 Sika. And Bradley has the ball and bring it down court for the Crimson Bears. Pass it off to Ridgeway and back out top to Bradley. Bradley passes the ball down to Carpinetti and it goes back to Bradley and he dribbles down the right side. Cross court pass to Carpinetti. And now we have Baxter with the ball and back off to Bradley at the top. Inside, off to the left side. Ugh. Oh, but took in by Hirai. Hirai to Bisson, and Bisson didn't make it in. And he's fouled. So we have six minutes and 35 seconds remaining. Juno Douglas has one foul. That first foul was on Raymond Bradley. It's going to be Aaron Bisson's first shot for tonight. Besides the attempted layup. Bisson for first shot. Didn't go in. It's all right. He's keeping his cool. Aaron Bisson for a second shot. And it's in. Now the score is tied 3 3. And Baxter inbounded the ball to Bradley, and he'll step past half court and pass the ball off to Carpinetti. And inside to Boozer. Spins and shoot, no good. Took him by Jared Hirai. Dirt here accidentally fumbled the ball out of bounds. And that turns the ball over to the Crimson Bears, and Baxter will inbound the ball. Inbounds it down to Bradley. And he'll bring the, down, the ball down. Passes up top to Ridgeway, and he drives in, dishes it off to Boozer, and he goes up for an easy two. Now, Hero has the ball for Sick of Wolves, bringing it down the court. Does a couple spins there, does one spin. He has a halfway mark there. Drives in a little, passes the inside to Bisson, and Bisson for two. Beautiful layup, making the score tied once again. Juno five and Sick of five. And now Ridgeway with the ball, passes it up to Bradley at the top of the key and out to Carpinetti. Back to Bradley, shoots for two from the free throw, and that just drops right in. Bisson has the ball now, taken down the court for Wolves. Bisson looking around. Bisson passes it to Benson. And the ball is picked off. And now we have Carpinetti driving down the left side and puts it up for another two. He already has seven points for tonight. Wow, seven points already. So the score now is nine Juno, five Sicko. Heroy has the ball now for Sicko. And the ball gets tipped out of bounds on a pass attempt, tipped by Juno. It's going to be Sika's ball. We have a sub coming in for Hirai, Scott Jones, number 34. Well, we have Jeff Kida is going to throw the ball out for Sika Wolves. Kida to Bisson, Bisson to Jones. Jones looks around, Jones to Krena. Krena drives in, Krena for two. And they go in. And the rebound's pulled away by Carpinetti, bringing the ball down now for the Crimson Bears. Off on the right side, pass it up to Ridgeway at the top. Drives in, passes it back off to Carpinetti, and he looks to drive, passes it out to Chapman. And to Boozer. And there's a foul call made. Oh. The foul called was uh, Aaron Bisson for Sick Wars. Both teams have one foul now. And Foster's waiting to inbound the ball. Inbounds it way up top to Ridgeway. Ridgeway down to Wilson. And long pass to Chapman. Shoots for two, no good. But it looks like no. He Hooking by Scott Jones for Wolves. Jones slows up the pace a little. There's some dribbling. The ball is stolen away by Chapman. And he'll keep it slowed down. Passes off to Wilson. Wilson for three and sinks it. 
Fisson has the ball now, taken down for Sickles. Driving pretty hard. Fisson for two, but foul called is made. I believe that foul was on Ridgeway. And no, that was on number 55, Foster. His first foul. So Aaron Bisson's gonna be on the free throw line for his second free throw tonight. With four minutes and 10 seconds remaining. And Boozer now steps out and will take a seat on the bench. Aaron Bisson for his shot. And it is good. The score now 12-6, and the Crimson Bears are leading by six. Goes for our second one, and it's good. Foster inbounds the ball to Bradley, and he's bringing it down court. Down pass the half court line, up top key, pass it off to Chapman. Chapman again with the ball, Ooh, and ball stolen away. Kita has the ball, Kita to Bisson. Bisson taking the ball down for sick eye Wolves. This is basketball to Scott Jones. Scott Jones looks around, passes the ball out to Benton. Benton to Bisson. Bisson. Uh, here that uh, Bisson fouled again. And that turns the ball over to the Crimson Bears and we have Foster waiting to inbound the ball. Second foul for Bisson this game. Both teams have two team fouls. And now Bradley driving the ball down court. Picks his dribble up to the top of the key. Pass off to Baxter, and he brings it up to the top. Nice pass inside to Wilson. Goes up, but no good. Benton gets the rebound for Sickle Wolves. Benton to Krennock, Krennock to Jones. Jones slows up the pace. Jones looks around. Jones to Hirai. Hirai inside to Krennock. Krennock makes it. Nice move by Krennock. Score now is... 12 Juno and 9 Sicko. And a long pass attempt was, attempt was almost knocked out of bounds. Foster came up with it though and a foul was just called. And sub stepping in. We have Ridgeway and Boozer stepping in and Chapman and Bradley will take a seat on the bench. Casey Campbell, 32, stepping in for Benton number 50. Baxter, long pass to Boozer, and a foul call. That was Jeff Keita who fouled. Making his first foul tonight. And so Baxter will again inbound the ball for the Bears. 3.03 remaining in the first quarter. Inbounds the ball way out top to Ridgeway, and he passes to Wilson, who drives in, shoots for two. Oh, no! That was a nice alley-oop to Boozer. Wonderful. Hira has the ball now for Sick Wolves. Hira to Aaron Bisson. Bisson with the ball. Bisson passes to Jones, but is knocked out by Boozer. Jones has the ball. Jones to Bisson. Bisson points for a little play to go on there. Bisson to Jones, Jones to Hirai. Hirai drives in a little, but goes back out. Hirai to Jones. Jones goes in a little more, does the little splits there. Jones to Campbell, Campbell to Krenina. Ball was Gaines tipped by Baxter. Pass inside from Krenina to Campbell, but Campbell didn't make it, making Juno Douglas ball. And Baxter inbounds the ball to, to Ridgeway, and he's driving down, double teamed, and loses the ball out of bounds. Gonna be a sick of high ball. Gonna be thrown out by Scott Jones. Jones looks for an open person, which is Aaron Bisson. Aaron Bisson has the ball now, slowing it down, calling another play. Bisson to Campbell. Campbell, a sophomore. Campbell almost loses control, but gains it back again. Campbell to Bisson. Bisson goes in, but is blocked to Krenna. 
Turn off for a two and it's good. A foul call is made. And the points are going to count, bringing Sika High Wolves 11 and Juno Douglas Crimson Bears 14. That foul was committed by number 30 Carpinetti. That's his first foul tonight, and the third team foul for the Crimson Bears. His well, first half. Pat Krona has six points this game. We have subs going in. We have Nathan Commodore going in for Scott Jones. Nathan, number 13. Scott Jones was 34. Pat for his Pat Krona for his first shot goes off the rim and pulled down by Boozer. Passed it off to Baxter and then Baxter passed it off to Carpinetti. Heavily guarded. Passes the ball off to Baxter. Back to Carpinetti, shoots for three and sinks that one. I'll bring the score now, 16, Juno and 11, Sika High. Sika High has the ball now. Aaron Bisson bring down the ball for Sika High Wolves. Aaron Bisson does a little ball behind the back there. Bisson looking for an old person, which is Nathan Commodore. Commodore looks around. Commodore to Campbell, but is taken out by Boozer. It's going to be Sika High Wolves. Braden goes in. We have Benson going out, going in for Krennan. Commodore is taking the ball out. Commodore to Hirai. Hirai has the ball now. Hirai goes in a little, passes it to Bisson. Bisson to Hirai. Hirai drives in, and a foul call is made. And he draws the foul on number 20, James Wilson. His first foul tonight. Aaron Bisson going to take the ball for Suga High Wolves. Aaron looking for an open man. Passes it to Campbell. Campbell to Hira. Hira to Bisson. Tipped away by Carpinetti, and he's driving down the left side, but he's fouled before he can get to the hoop. That was Bisson. It almost looked like an attention foul. Potential foul. We'll see if it's being called as so. Nope. It's Aaron Bisson search foul. Here we have Wilson outside. And he inbounds the ball to Chapman. Chapman for a quick two and sinks it. Score now is 18 Juno and Sika High. Hira has the ball now. Hira driving down the court, showing up the pace to Bisson. Bisson has the ball. Bisson inside to Campbell. Campbell to Bisson. Bisson staying around the three point line to Commodore. Commodore for three, and it is good. Both these teams are shooting extremely well. They're three pointers. 30 seconds remaining, just a little under. Wilson passed the ball off to Carpinetti. Back to Wilson, back to Carpinetti. And then back to Wilson. And he passed it to Chapman. And inside to Boozer. Goes for the reversal, but it's no good. Campbell, 14 seconds remaining. Aaron Bisson drives in, slows the pace to Commodore. Commodore for two. They didn't go in, but rebound by Benson. Knocked out by Benson. Going to be Juno Ball. Six seconds left in the first quarter. And Baxter will inbound the ball. Clean up some fluids on the floor there. Baxter inbounds to Wilson, and Wilson will drive down. Brings it all the way to the hoop on the left side. It goes in, and that's the, uh, brings the final score at the buzzer to 2014 Juno Crimson Bears. That's time up now. There we have the Juno Bears and the Sick of Wolves getting instructions. And there we have both pep bands, Sitka and Juno. A panorama of the crowd there for you. And cheerleaders. Juno cheerleaders. Ooh. That was nice. Nice stunts being performed by the Juno cheerleaders. There's a scoreboard for you. A new eight minutes set. And there's a buzzer ending the quarterly timeout. 
Well, both teams are joining each other on the floor now. It's going to be a sugar high ball brought out by Scott Jones. Scott Jones has a ball. Scott Jones to Hirai. Hirai reaching half court line now. Hirai to Jones. Kerna trying to get free there to Benton now. Benton to Jones. Jones to Vissen. Vissen signals the play. Vissen to Hirai. Hirai to Kerna. Kerna goes in. Kranach. And the ball is tipped away by Kranach. Baxter, but he'll be called as a foul. Kranach likes that call. You see him clapping? Yes, sir, I did. Well, Scott Jones is going to take the ball out for Sicka Wolves. Scott Jones looking around. Scott Jones passes it long out, but it's stolen by Chapman, and then an attempted pass is miscommunication, and it's taken by Scott Jones. Scott Jones down, taking the ball down. Ooh, ball tipped away and picked up by Foster, and he'll bring it down the right side, but it's stripped away. Gets his own. Uh, he got the ball back, but on the shot attempt, he was fouled, and he'll go to the line for the first time tonight. I didn't catch who the foul was on. That was either Benton or Krana. Foster at the line. So far, he has no points tonight. Chance to change that. His first shot is no good, but one more attempt. Oops, and his second shot is good. 21, Juno, 14, Sika. And Chapman, unhappy with himself, he had the ball out of the hands of the Sika Wolf, but couldn't hang on to it. Bisson has the ball now. Bisson taking down the ball for the Wolves. Bisson to Hirai, but the ball is going out of bounds. Here's Tipped out by Chapman, number oh, 32. <laughs> it's gonna be sick a high ball. Took out by Jeff Kida. Jeff Kida the crown. Jeff Kida to Bisson. Bisson to Hirai. He right inside to Benton. It's picked off by Boozer, and he'll cross half court, bring it down for the Bears. Pass it off top to Bradley, and then down court to Chapman. A cross court pass to Boozer, driving in the baseline on the left side, fouled on the shot attempt. That time, I'm pretty sure that it was by. Hmm. Well, that's going to be Hirai. Boozer at the line has four points tonight. The score is currently 21-14. Crimson Bears and a timeout is called. By Sickle Wolves. As you can see, there's Sickle Wolves going around and I see how they can catch up with the Bears there. And there's the Bears and they'll be talking over with their coach, keeping a strategy to keep the lead. And there you have the scoreboard for you. As you can see, 21. Juno Bears. Ooh, and there's the cheerleaders. 14, Sickle Wolves. Back to Sickle Wolves' ball team there. Talking over, giving five to each other. All right. And the Bears hit the floor. Hit the floor. But they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Being joined by Sickle Wolves. It's like Sicka High cheerleaders have different uniforms on than they did last night. Mm -hmm. It does. And Boozer to start out at the end of that timeout will be shooting two free throws. Puts up his first one, nothing but net. That gives the Crimson Bears a lead of eight points. And his second shot brings the score to 23-14. Going to be Sukai's ball taken out by Akita. Akita with the ball. Akita to Hirai. Hirai yep. reaching half court line. To 
Kita. Kita to Krenna. Krenna to Mentenbutt. Took it by Boozer. Boozer brings the ball down, and it's tipped away. Struggle over the ball. Ref calls last touch by number 55, Foster, and that'll turn the ball over to the Wolves. Jeff Kita for the Sickle Wolves. Going to take the ball out. Kita to Hira. Hira with the ball now. Going down the court. Half court line. Here I to Bisson. Bisson. Oh. Pass attempt intercepted by Foster. Pass down court to Boozer, and he loses it on an around the back dribble. Hooking by Bisson. And Bradley, a nice diving attempt to try and steal the ball back. But that was a good attempt. But he tips it out of bounds. Going to be Sugai ball brought out by Kida. Kida to Hirai. It's pretty man to man. Now kind of changing that now. Defense is doing a good job. Trenna with the ball. Trenna to Hirai. Still pretty much man to man defense there. Hirai looking around. Hirai inside to Trenna. Trenna fakes out. Fakes again. And nice fake, but the shot's no good. Took him by Krenna again. Krenna to Hirai. Hirai to Kita. Kita inside to Benton. And Benton goes for two. Right over the top of Chino Bears defense. And Bradley with the ball. Passes down court to Wilson. Wilson looking for the play. Pass it inside to Chapman. And ball's tipped away. Accidentally thrown out by Sicko Wolves. Pat Krenna. And we have Carpinetti stepping in for Foster now for the Crimson Bears. And Bradley will take the ball out for the Crimson Bears. Pass attempt to Carpinetti is knocked out of bounds, but there's a foul call. Well, we have Scott Jones going out for Jeff Keaton. Scott Jones, number 34. And Carpinetti will get to shoot because the Sicka Wolves are over their team foul limit. This will be a one-on-one. -on -one. He has seven points tonight. And he sinks that shot. Beautiful. Now it's 24 Sicka High. Oh, 24 Juno and 16 Sicka High. Carpinetti will get to shoot one more. And there he lines up his shot, puts it up. And that one also sinks in. Yep. Now we have Sika High with the ball now. Jarrett Hirai. Jarrett Hirai driving down the court. Hirai inside to Bisson. Bisson for two was no good. Took him by Krenak. Krenak for two, and it is good. Beautiful five minutes remaining in the first half. Bradley with the ball now. Passed off to Wilson down on the right side. Inside to Boozer. And Boozer is double team, so he'll pack, pass back out to Wilson. Wilson for three off the front rim. And the ball last touched, being knocked out of bounds by the Bears. Take a high ball. Timeout call. No, no timeout call. My bad. Aaron Bisson has the ball now. Sick of Wolves. Aaron passes it to Krenna. Krenna to Hirai. And Wilson will get called with his second foul tonight on that play. Hirai steps to the line. Some people come in. Oh, it's not going to be a shot. It's going to be Scott Jones going to take it out for the Super Bowls. Jones passes it to Bisson. Bisson has the ball. Bisson to Krenna. Karina has the ball. Karina to Hirai. Hirai to Bisson. Almost took it away, though. Bisson to Hirai. Hirai for two. It's off the rim. Took him by Benton. Benton for two. Goes off the rim. Tried of it. Knocked in again. And finally, Foster is able to pull down the rebound, and he'll pass it off to Carpinetti. And he brings the ball down to the Bears, putting some spin moves on. Brings the ball down in the left corner. Foster gets the ball out past three. Boozer now looking to drive in. 
Goes for two, it drops in, but the points won't count. Some people are unhappy with that. And both Boozer and Ridgeway arguing that the shot should count. And the refs say no, but Boozer will still get to shoot two free throws. Oh. It's good to respect the refs' calls, even though it's hard to back. Mm -hmm. And Boozer cushes his first shot. Despite the noise, good part on Boozer. Good concentration. Yep. Boozer goes up, his second shot is nothing but net. He's not only tall, but he can make shots too. Yeah, All he right. can. I like to see him dunk. Maybe we will. There's a couple players on both teams that I could easily slam it in there. I could with a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I could with a trampoline. <laughs> Here has a ball now. Here I try and evade the uh, Bears. Prina with the ball. Prina to Hirai almost gone out, but Hirai saves it. Hirai drives in. Open. Beautiful. Beautiful layup. Nice burn down the right baseline. 20 Sika. 27 Juno. 326 remaining. Carpinetti gets the ball and drives down on the left side. Brings it back out and passes to Bradley. Hirai's first points for the game, that layup back there. Mm -hmm. Foul call is made. And that foul call was drawn by Baxter on his drive to the hoop. That was Brian Benton, number 50 for Sickle Wolves. First foul tonight, I believe, first or second round there. <laughs> Baxter at the line, he has three points. He cooched a three-pointer earlier in the first quarter. And there he gets his fourth point, And he'll get to shoot one more shot. And he pumps up the ball, lines up, puts it up, and that one's also good. Both of these teams are extremely good at their free throws. Yep. Now we have Scott Jones going to take the ball up for Sickle Wolf. Scott Jones to Aaron Bisson. Bisson has the ball to Hirai. Hirai back to Bisson in the background, the spirit contest with the crowd. Now that was... Jones, but well, didn't go in. Baxter pulls down the rebound and he'll give it to Ridgeway to bring down court. Ridgeway dribbles, pass off to Wilson off on the right side, and then Baxter with a spin jump shot in and out. Boozer pulls down that ball and puts it up for two. That was pretty good the way he uh, put it back up there oh, despite yeah. the Wolves. Pulled it right out of their hands. 10 points for him. Wow, pretty good. 10 out of 31. Now Krenna, number 40, has the ball. Being stopped by a bear. Krenna to Bisson. Bisson to Hirai. Hirai to Benton. Benton inside. Oh. Stuffed away by Boozer. Hirai recovers the ball, though. Hirai with the ball. Hirai to Jones. Jones goes in. Jones for two, and it is good. We're going to score now 22 Sika against 31 Juno with 205 minutes. And an inside pass to Baxter, but he's double teamed. So he passes it back out to Wilson. Wilson heavily guarded passes to Baxter. Baxter on the right corner, passes up top to Boozer. Boozer looks to drive and spin move, puts it up for two. No good though. And there's a foul call on the rebound attempt. That'll go against the Crimson Bears. Larry Strayed in there. That foul is against James Wilson. That's his third, and so he'll sit down. Looks like we're going to go to the line. We had Commodore going in for Hira. Nathan Commodore, number 13. Bisson at the line. Bisson playing a pretty good game this time. Oh, we always play a good game, but now he has six points this game. This is for his first shot. Didn't go in off the backboard. And Boozer ends up with the rebound and pass it off to Ridgeway. 
And he drives down along the right side, takes it straight to the hoop. No good. And he gets a charging foul also in. So that'll give it the ball over to the Wolves. I think he fell pretty heavy. I think I felt that. Oh, yeah. Commodore taking the ball out for Wolves. Ref wiping up some sweat off that fall. Wiping the wet out of the sweat? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Making sure the floor is not slippery. Good thing no one of the accidents. No way. Might poke out an eye. Commodore yeah, with the ball. Commodore to Bisson. Bisson with the ball behind the back there. Bisson drives in a little. Bisson to Hannah. Crenna with the ball. Crenna to Commodore. Commodore with the ball. Commodore to Jones. Jones to Bisson. Bisson to Crenna. Crenna off for two, and it is good. Crenna is doing good this game. Bring us up to 24 Sika and 31 Juno. And now we have Ridgeway crosses half court and brings the ball down off the right side. Pass the ball off to Chapman. Chapman inside of Boozer. And Boozer, the ball gets pulled down. But there's a foul call, and he'll go to the line. Here's that. Pat Kernow's got to take that foul. Pat Kernow has 10 points this game so far. Pat goes out for it. And then Casey Campbell comes in. And Ridgeway takes a seat, and Carpenetti steps out for the Crimson Bears. So Boozer gets ready to shoot his first shot. Puts it up, but it's off the front rim. One minute remaining. Quick first half. Boozer's second shot, though, goes straight in. Well, this is with the ball now. Jason driving behind the back again. Second time he used that recently. Commodore. Commodore has the ball. Commodore does a little vision tactic there. Commodore to Bisson. Bisson is a quick shot to Jones. Jones for three. Didn't go in. Casey Campbell rebounds, though. I believe Campbell is fouled. And I believe that foul will go against Dan Baxter. And that will be a second foul tonight. Casey Campbell is a sophomore as a guy. Hasn't many points yet tonight, but some good rebounds. First shot didn't go in. Kind of just went out of the basket there. Casey Campbell for his second shot. Campbell goes in. It's good. The score now 32-24. Crimson Bears. And Trumbull, who has just subbed in, gets ready to inbound the ball. Inbounds the ball to Carpinetti, and he'll bring it down court for the Bears. Pass the ball off to Foster. Foster off on the left side, back up top to Carpinetti. And now Boos with the ball. Long pass out to Foster. Foster drives in on the left side, but the ball stripped away. Taken by Sickle Wool. Scott Jones, the ball now. Jones to Bisson. Bisson. Tries to attempt, but Liz gets the rebound and a foul call is made. All three refs agree. Oh, some flashes from the crowd there. It's kind of blinded for a moment. Uh, camera flashes. So. Well, <clears throat> Bisson. Bisson at the line there. Aaron Bisson. Six points this game. Goes for a shot, it's good. Seven points this game for Aaron Bisson. Bringing the score, 26 Wolves to 32 Bears. Bisson goes, attempts his second shot. And Trumbull pulls down the rebound and passes it off to Carpinetti. And Carpinetti drives down the left side, picks up his drill, passes inside to Boozer, spins, jumps, no good. Knocked away by Campbell and took by Bisson. Bisson at the last moment, but it's short. So the score now is 32, Juno, 26, Sika. And, and then we, we have shall return. 
There we have both teams running off court. And as you can hear, the, the uh, band pumping everybody up in the crowd. There's a score for which you. Which is totally in the game. And we'll be back for the second half. And that we'll is see uh, you then. as uh, Juno and Siga Pippen. Hello. And we're back with the band swinging and keeping things pumped up. This here has been quite the good game so far. This is game 20 in the Region 5 tournament. There's a sick of wolves for you. Yes. Uh -huh. Hello and welcome back. And there is Hanna with the ball rebounded for sick of wolves. Welcome back to the second quarter. Second half. Second half, my bad. Bishon with the ball now. Accidentally knocked out of bounds. Still going to be sick of Wolves' ball, though. And the score is currently 32 26 with Crimson leading. Boozer with the steal around the back, dribble, drives up. The and points did not count. The points will not count. So I guess that foul by Bisson was successful. So after that foul, that'll put Baxter to inbound the ball. Inbounds inside to Carparetti, and his shot's no good though. Taken by Hirai, foul call is made. And that foul was against Chapman. That's his first foul tonight. We have uh, the mop crew there for the floor. Going to be sick of high ball. 7.31 remaining in the third quarter. Kita's going to take the ball out. Kita to Bisson, Bisson to Hirai. Hirai taking the ball now. Hirai half court line. Hirai to Kida. Kida to Hirai. Hirai to Bisson. Bisson inside to Benton. Ryan Benton for two. It ain't going though. Tooken by Krenna. Krenna shoots. Called for a travel. He's called for travel. So oh, traveling. He was a foul. Sorry. That shot won't count. So Points the Crimson. <laughs> <laughs> and there we have Carpinetti with the ball. Passes up top to Bradley. Bradley down and back to Bradley. Bradley looking to pass it. Pass it off to Carpinetti. Carpinetti down to Baxter. Baxter back to Carpinetti. And then again back to Bradley. And now Chapman has the ball. Inside to Boozer. And there's a foul call right off. He was double teamed. That was Aaron Bisson. He didn't look that happy about that. He's going out and Scott Jones subbing in for him. And number 23, Bradley getting ready to inbound the ball. Inbounds the ball straight to Baxter. Baxter out to Carpinetti and then up top. And now Bradley with the ball. Pass inside to Boozer. Boozer goes for two. And he gets called with travel though. Thought that was gonna be a foul, but no. Good call by the ref. Travel call. Well, Hero has the ball now for Sick of Wolves. Hero taking down the court, reaching half court line, driving a little faster now. Almost lose control of the ball. And Bradley on the steal attempt gets the foul call. That's Hirai, his Hirai foul. looks wounded. They're giving him a little sign there. Looks like it might be his face. Hero looks all right. Looks like he got his head slammed in there on that that last play. Looks a little dizzy, but he's walking it off. See if, see if he's going to be all right. He's going out. Kita with the ball now for Sickle Wolves. Kita passed the ball to Scott Jones. Almost stolen and. Foul or reaching in, Zinn, called. 
Yes, sirree, that is on uh, Chapman, number 32, who almost had the steal. Keto once again taking the ball out for Sigahan. Keita to the Keita passes the ball to Jones. Jones to Keita. Keita for three. Oh, it didn't go in. Took it by Commodore though. Commodore to Jones. Jones goes in. Jones to Commodore. Commodore looks around. Commodore to Krenna. Krenna to Kita, Kita for a three, and it is good. Score now is 29, Sika, 32, Wool. And good Ridgeway two, charging two, down, pass the ball off to Chapman. Chapman off to who's on the left corner, and back to Chapman. And then up top to Ridgeway. Ridgeway, double team, pass the ball off to Chapman. Inside to Boozer, looks to shoot, it's tipped away. He wanted a foul call on that, but the refs didn't see That was stopped by it. Nathan Commodore. A little shorter than Boozer, a lot shorter, but. The ball stolen away by Baxter. And then tipped out of bounds, it looks like. And so Baxter will inbound the ball. Inbounds it down about half court to Carpinetti. And he'll bring the ball down for the Bears. Brings it up top, pass it off to Wilson. Wilson inside to Boozer, back out to Ridgeman. Ridgeman to the top to Wilson, drive to the hoop. Off the backboard, no good. Boozer though, with the beautiful rebound and points. A little over five minutes remaining. Scott Jones with the ball for us, take a hat. Scott Jones to Nathan Commodore. Commodore drives in, passes it to Jones. Jones for two. Foul calls me. Jones was foul. That foul call will go against Wilson. That's his fourth foul tonight, and he doesn't look happy with that. So him being in foul trouble, Foster will step in to take his place, and also Bradley stepping in. Second shot, didn't go in. Boozer. Boozer rebounded it by the rim almost. Way over the head. Foster with a nice inside move. That was, that was very well done. Scott Jones with the ball now. Scott Jones with the ball. And the ball's picked away. Scott Jones shoots it. Okay, Scott Jones. Okay. That shot by Scott Jones will not count. There was a foul as he stripped the ball away from Boozer. So the ball will remain in Bears possessions and Foster inbounds the ball off to Bradley and he'll bring it down court. Pass the ball off to Carpinetti and Carpinetti back up top to Bradley. Bradley now down to Ridgeway. Back to Bradley at the top. And he's gonna step out, wants to slow things down and keep things in order. He wants to make these points count. Bradley cross court pass over to Carpinetti. And Carpinetti's called with travel on his drive attempt. Score being 36, Juno Bears and 36 of Wolves. Sick is doing a good job of catching up now. Third quarter, three minutes, 50 sec 56, 54 seconds remaining. Hirai with the ball now. Hirai to Kida. Jeff Kida for a three, a little short. Going out of bounds. And <coughs> Juno's ball. And Foster was going to inbound the ball, but Baxter will instead and Pass the ball into Bradley. Now bringing the ball down the court. Brings up top and brings it down on the right side. Ball is tipped away, but Ridgeway keeps possession of the ball. Oh, intercepted by Hirai. Hirai running down the court. Hirai for a layup. Beautiful layup, wonderful steal. 
score now is 32 Sika and 36 Juno. Ridgeway now with the ball, driving down on the right side. Looked to take it under the hoop, but he gets pushed out of bounds. That was, that was Jeff Kita. Jeff Kita going out now and having Jones subbing in for him. Pat Krenna stepping out and having Menden coming in for him. Baxter inbounds the ball. And now he gets the ball passed to him. Foster with the ball inside. Triple team can't go anywhere. Pass out to, oh, I didn't see that. Boozer got the rebound though and was fouled on his shot attempt. And that'll bring him to the line. He has 13 points tonight. And he gets a chance to up his score. And that last shot attempt was by Baxter. One before that. I just couldn't remember his name for the life of me. Here we have Boozer with his first shot, and that sinks right in. 37, Juno now. He's got 32, Sika. Three minutes remaining. Boozer's second shot doesn't go in. Rebounded by Benton. Benton to Jones. Jones taking the ball down for a Sika high. Jones to Commodore. Commodore to Campbell. Campbell to Jones. Jones looks around there, passes inside to Campbell. Campbell to Hira. Hira dribbling around a little to Jones. Jones to Benton. Benton's at top of the key there. Benton to Jones. Jones drives in. Jones underneath the basket. And he draws the foul. That foul will go against Ridgeway. And that's only his first foul tonight, though. And Ridgeway will sit down, and Carpinetti will come out to take his place. Well, Scott Jones at the line. Attempted his first shot there, and he's good. That's the lead to four points that the Crimson Bears have over the Wolves. Scott Jones to his second shot. Big going. Boozer pulls down the rebound and passes it off to Bradley to bring the ball down. Bradley to the top of the key, passes to Foster. Foster looking past it inside. Back up top to Bradley. Inside to Baxter. Baxter going for a reversal, draws the foul. Well, that was on Benton, Brian Benton, number 50. And now Baxter will get to shoot two shots. And his first shot bounces in. That's his six point tonight, and he'll get to shoot one more shot. We have Pat Krenna stepping in for Benton. Baxter getting ready, shoots his second shot, and that one also bounces in. Hirai with the ball now. Hirai driving down the court, slowing up the pace. Hirai halfway court line now. Hirai does a spin. Hirai to Jones. Jones to Pat Krenna. Krenna to Hirai, Hirai to Krenna. Krenna has the ball. Krenna to Hirai. He rides to Commodore. Commodore with the ball, Commodore to Krenna. Krenna fakes the shot, passes it to Hirai. Hirai inside to Campbell. Campbell tries to shoot, but it go out to Krenna. Krenna for two, didn't make it. Rebound pulled down by Foster, and he draws a foul. Leave that foul charges against Scott Jones. And that's a seventh team foul for the Sitka Wolves, so Foster will go to the line and shoot a one on one. A minute 31 remaining in the third quarter. The score is currently 39-33, Bears leading. Foster goes up and drops a shot in, getting his fourth point tonight.
And Foster with his second shot lines up. And he drops that one in also. Hirai with the ball. Hirai takes it down for Sika. Almost loses it. Gains control. Passes out. Teams go for it. Took it by Jones. Hard struggle with the ball, but Baxter comes up with it. No, excuse me, Carparetti finally comes up with the ball that Bradley, who now has the ball, had tipped away. And he passed the ball down off to Foster off the left side. And now the inside to the corner, Baxter with the drive. No good. Gets his own rebound and puts it in for two. Good job for Baxter. Now we have Jones. Jones with the ball. Jones driving down a little. Jones is going to take it in for himself. Goes for two, but it's a little long. And Baxter pulls down the rebound and gives it off to Carparetti to bring it down. Baxter playing a good game. Yeah, both teams. Extremely good defense. There we have Bradley waiting for someone to set up a play. And Foster now. Sika setting up their own play now. Foster is just hanging around on the outside, just running down the time and pass the ball off to Carparetti. Ten seconds left on the clock. Carparetti at the top, passes off to Bradley. Bradley fumbles with the ball, regains. Baxter spins and shoots, no good. Pulled down by Foster, and he can't get a shot off before the buzzer. And that'll end the third quarter. That defense was pretty man-to-man -man the last moment there. Mm -hmm. Well, here we have Sika High gathering together, taking a breather and getting instructions. And there you can see the score. The Bears are leading by 10 points, 43 to 33. And there we have the Juno cheerleaders. Nice job. Cheering the crowd on. This is a pretty exciting game. Yeah. It was really close there a couple times. Now a 10-point lead by Juno, 43 the Bears and 33 Wolves. Well, there's an announcement that's going to be a 50-50 drawing, so I guess we're going to take a little extra time out here. Last night there was a drawing for $266. How much? 266. Yeah, Guangzhou and So I'll see who got that. No one is claiming it yet. I don't see anybody jumping for joy yet. No, me neither. And $140 to go to somebody with the ticket. And nobody yet has come to claim it. But both teams stepped onto the court, so never mind that. Here we have basketball. Well, here we I'm have Hirai with the ball for Sika. He right to Jones. Jones with the ball. Jones to Krenna. Krenna does a fake. fake. Fakes out Basker. Basker. This is with the ball. Krenna with the ball. Oh, Krenna nice move. Shot. Evades Foster's defense. Never seen that move before. 35 Sika and 43 Juno. And Baxter with the ball in the left corner. Passes off to Foster, and he brings it up top. And pass attempt to Boozer is knocked away. Oh, and we have Jones with the ball. Jones to Bisson. Bisson to Jones. Jones turns around and shoots. And the basket won't count. But it will be a shooting foul. Score now is 43. Do you know that 35-6? Excuse me, it won't be a shooting foul. I'm sorry. Jones taking out the ball. Jones to Krenna. Krenna for two, and it is good. Beautiful. Foster now inbounds the ball to Bradley, and he'll bring the ball down. Pat Krenna, 14 points this game. Bradley down court to Baxter. Inside to Foster. Takes nice pass to Boozer, and he slams it down. Yeah. That guy can dunk. That's what I was waiting to see. I wanted to see someone dunk it tonight. It and like my request was fulfilled. 
Oh, there's Aaron Bisson. Aaron Bisson with the ball. The Wolves doesn't seem sh shooken by that. It was quite a slight to see, though. Benton with the ball. Benton to Krenna. Krenna shoots for two. Krenna is fouled. And let's see if the, po the points do count. Ladies and gentlemen, 39. Sika to 45. Juno. Sika is slowly creeping up there, trying to catch up. Only down by six points, and they have a chance to cut the lead to five. Still 6.36 remaining in the fourth quarter. Pat Krenna playing a very good game today. 16 points. 17 points now. And the ball's inbound to Boozer, and he'll bring it down court. Boozer passes the ball off to Baxter, and Bradley will bring it up to the top. Heavy D shown by the Wolves. And the ball's now past the Carparetti. Down to Baxter. Baxter for three, but it doesn't Rebounded sink. Rebounded by Krenna. Krenna to Hira. Hira with the ball now. Kind of slowing up the game. Hira drives in fast, but backs off a little. Hira called a timeout for six. Well, six minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. It is 40 Sika to 45 Juno. Sika is really keeping up there. Five points only lead. Yes, sir. -y. That was a, a good timeout call there by Baxter. And there you can see both teams over their foul limits. Seven points. Nice stunts being performed by Juno High cheerleaders. There you can hear the pep bands jamming away. There they are. <laughs> They're having fun. There's the bear. Well, there's Scott Jones. The back of Scott Jones. Number 34, Sick of Wolves. Scott Jones, Aaron Bisson. Aaron Bisson taking the ball now for Sick of High. Pass the ball to Hirai. Hirai to Jones. Jones almost lost his roll, but gained it. Who? Jones slips. And, oh. It's going to be called a push. Pushing foul on Joseph Chapman. Number 32 is third foul tonight. We're going to have Scott Jones on the line. Scott Jones there. With just one second under six minutes, Scott Jones for his first shot is good. So Scott gets a, Scott Jones gets another shot there. Scott Jones for a second shot. It's good. Nothing yeah. but net. 42 Sigma, 45 Juno. And Ridgeway will bring the ball down this time and pass it off to Carparetti. Carparetti driving on the right side, takes it to the hoop. Off the backboard, doesn't go in, but there's a foul call. So Carparetti. That was go to Big Man Benton. Carparetti at the line has nine points tonight, and he'll get a chance to extend the Bears' lead. The Wolves have cut it to three-point lead, but his shot goes in, and that will extend it to a four-point lead. Benton being uh, taken the rest there and traded in by Casey Campbell, number 32. All Wolves at the lineup there. And Carpardi shoots his second shot now, and that one also sinks in. Score now is 47 Juno, 42 Sika. Hira has the ball. Hira taking down for a Sika Wolves. Hira, a quick pass to Krenna. Krenna to Bisson. He's knocked out by Carparetti. Number Sika High Wolves ball. Scott Jones taking out for them. Scott Jones to Pat Krenna. Krenna shoots, and it's a little short. Boozer gets the rebound and driving down court. Takes it to the hoop, but fumbles the ball and Looks like uh, Jared Hira. Jared Hira is going to be called with that. Boozer's going to get two shots. And Boozer has 16 points tonight so far. All the 
all the times he's been up there, he's made them. That's right. So maybe he's not the great, greatest guy to foul. I wonder what it's like shooting free throws where your eyes are almost level with the rim there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, his oh. shot doesn't sink. That foul was worth it. It's going to be Casey Jones. I mean, Casey Campbell with the ball there. Looks kind of upset with that. That foul sends Baxter to the line. Teammates selling Campbell to just, you know, relax, going to be all right. The score is still 47-42 with the Bears leading by five points. And now backs are getting ready to shoot a shot. We have Keita, Jeff Keita stepping in for Aaron Bisson. Aaron Bisson has played most of this game so far. Baxter making his, making his first shot, also drops in his second, and he gets him 11 points tonight. Kita took out the ball, so sick a high Kita to Jones. Jones has the ball now. Jones at kind of the top of the key, passes it to Hirai. Here at three-point line, passes out to Kita. Kita, quick pass to Jones. Jones inside to Krenna. Krenna fakes. Krenna loses control of the ball. There's a scramble down there. Campbell went for it. Campbell last touched it. Bears ball. Bears ball. Mopping up more water there. <laughs> and Baxter now inbounding the ball. Inbounds it to Boozer and he gives it off to Wilson to bring down court. Being and guarded by Scott. He spins, drives in. Pass the ball off to Carpretti, shoots for three. Score now, 52 Juno and 42 Sika. Sika kind of losing their uh, jump, or well, Juno getting a bigger jump on the Sika that they had. Here I pass the ball side to Krenna. Foul called is made. And that foul goes to Wilson, and that's his fifth foul. And he is very upset with that. Played a good game, though. He played well tonight. He had four points, or excuse me, five points, including a three early on in the first quarter. And now we have Bradley will step in for him. Oh, the cheerleaders down out there, proud of them. Proud of his cop and court. We have Pat Krenna on the line there. Pat Krenna had 17 points. That's 18 now this game. Score now is 43 sick and 52 Juno. This is stepping in for Hira. This is number 32. Krenna for his second shot. Krenna is good. 19 points for Krenna. And that cuts the lead down to eight points with 4.30 remaining in the fourth quarter. And Bradley driving the ball down. Pass it off to Carp Reddy, and he'll bring it down on the left side. Brings down the left corner, back up top. Pass off to Bradley. Bradley driving down the left side. Looks for a pass. And he's pushed out of bounds. By Scott Jones, number 34 for Sickle Wolf. So Bradley will go to the line. He's been playing very well, uh, very good defense tonight, very aggressive player. The Wolves are kind of slipping up a little, making a little too many fouls. Mm -hmm. It's going to be their 10th one. We have Benton going in for Pat Kernock. At number 50. And Bradley now at the line gets the shoot. And his first shot doesn't go in. He'll get to shoot one more shot though. And he's so far tonight, he doesn't have any points, but he has, as I said before, played extremely good defense. Took it by Krenna for Arketa. 
keep it up for a third rebound. Apologize. Pass to Jones. Jones with the ball now. Jones pass the ball to Aaron Misson. Aaron Misson looking around. Aaron to Campbell. Campbell tries to pass to Benton, but it's tipped out, out of bounds by number 23, Raymond Bradley. Kita has the ball now. 6 1. Kita passes the ball to Benton, who is 6 10. Benton makes it. Nice Big shot over Benton. the top of Crimson Bears defense. Bradley charging down. Pass it off to Ridgewood. Back to Bradley, and now Carparetti driving down the left side, brings it inside. Doesn't get the points. Jones is on the floor there. He kind of looks hurt. Ah, he gets up. He's pretty good. He's all right. Looked maybe like he hurt his uh, collarbone or his chest there, walking around. He's going to sit down. Pat Krenna, who's 6'10 also, goes in. Goes in. Yep. <laughs> So we have uh, three players out there that are 6'10". Boozer, Benton, and Krenna. Carparetti with 14 points tonight is at the line after being fouled. Puts up his first shot off the rim. Krenna a little eager in there, jumps in. Kita is being escorted off the court. Kita appeared to have a bloody nose. Hereby will be going in for him, Kita. So Christian Carparetti is still on the line, getting to shoot his second shot. Pumps up the ball and puts it up. Despite Nothing but the net. noise, all right. Score now 53 Juno and 46 Sika with three minutes and 48 seconds remaining. Timeout call. There you have the Sika Wolves for you up the ground. See if they're gonna they're trying to catch up there. Down by seven. There's a score, 53 Bears to 46 Wolves. And there you can hear the the uh, Juno pep band playing away, and there they are for you. Have wonderful stunt by the cheerleader. Look at that, amazing. And she's dropped safely back down to the ground. I would do that two feet off the floor, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Nerves of steel. You must watch a tape called Nerves of Steel. <laughs> Well, there they're joining each other on the floor there. Mingling. It's going to be Sitka's ball. Campbell with the ball. Campbell passes the ball to Aaron Bisson. Aaron Bisson to Hira. Hira taking the ball down. Down the court, reaching halfway line. Hira to Campbell. Campbell to Bisson. Bisson to Campbell. Campbell to Hira. He right to Bisson, Bisson to, who's that, uh, Krenna. Krenna goes up, but it's knocked down. Locked away again, and Baxter gets the uh, gets the ball after that, and pass the ball to Carpetti. Drives down, double teamed, almost loses it. Pass the ball inside to Foster. Nice dish to Baxter. Goes for a reversal, but he's fouled. I believe he is fouled by Hirai, but we'll see to confirm that. I believe that was here. Right. Mm -hmm. Dan Baxter has <clears throat> 11 points tonight. He's playing a good game, good game. 3-10 mm -hmm. remaining, fourth quarter. Baxter sinks his first shot. And now he's got 12 points for the night. Timeout is called. Sicka boys are looking kind of discouraged there. Technical foul called on oh, number 33. Foul. That is technical on Aaron Bisson. Do you know what happened? I, I'm not sure what the call was about. I thought it was a timeout. My, my, I, I, sorry. For that. So now I'll have Dan Baxter on the line, getting to shoot one shot by himself. What happened? 
And there he puts it up. Bounces around, but it won't go in. Well, the coach is talking to, uh, well, the ref's talking to Aaron Bisson. Aaron Bisson, I think, is going to sit out. Something else is going on there, too. And the rest talking to Hirai. Well, Juno is pumping up the crowd. Juno cheerleaders there. And in the background. Rest still talking to Hirai. Doesn't look like he liked that technical call. And he just kind of says though. whatever. Well, there's the Juno boys huddled up together. There's coach talking to a ref there. It's like, that was Mr. Bisson, the coach, Aaron Bisson's father. Everybody on the uh, Wolves team is quite upset by that technical foul. And now Carparelli will get to shoot the second shot there. Maybe it's good. We don't know what it is. Probably couldn't say it then on here on the <laughs> video if it's that bad. Yeah. Carparelli sinks the shot. He's got 16 points tonight, and he'll get to shoot another one. And he also drops that one in. And now it'll still be Juno's ball. Well, we after they just picked up three points. Ten point lead. Ball's inbounded to Carparetti. Double team, pass the ball off to Bradley. Bradley back down to Carparetti. Carparetti open, pass the ball off to Baxter. Baxter cross court pass to Boozer. Boozer up top to Bradley. Bradley double team, ball stripped away. Ooh, hooking by. Oh, pass to Keta Keta for two, it's no good. Bradley pulls down the rebound and he slows things down. Pass ball off, and Boozer underneath just lays it right up there. He was right about his, level with the rim. His hands almost go over the rim, wow. Mm -hmm. He's doing a layup there. Hero has the ball now. Hero I take it down for Sika. Hero I calls a timeout. Good thing is being uh, pretty pressured there by a bear. Raymond Bradley, number 23. There's right, Sickle Wolves for you. Bradley around. There's the Bears in a huddle with their coach, talking over their strategy for the last couple minutes of the game. Well, we have two minutes and 27 seconds remaining. And the Bears currently lead by 12 points, as you can see. And if they can hold this lead and just ride it out until the end, then they will win. But if the Wolves get the luck turned their way, there's still a possibility that they could come back and take the game. There's Pamarana, Pamarama of the crowd. There's the sick cheerleaders pumping up the crowd. Juno team there, breaking up to the court. Both teams on the court now. It's gonna be Jeff Kita with the ball, passes it to Hirai. Headband getting pretty loud now. Campbell with the ball, Campbell to Krenna. Krenna with the ball, does a little fake there, passes out to Hirai. Hirat, kind of the key there, pass it to Kita. Kita with the ball, drives in, get it for two, and it's off the rim, bounced around a lot, rebounded by Campbell, Campbell. What did it happen there, is Campbell fouled? Yep, he's fouled, I believe that foul goes to Foster. And that'll be a second foul tonight. Campbell's being a post forward, he's a sophomore, and he's 6'4". I went to school with them in middle school. Brings back memories. Campbell, Campbell for two. I mean, Campbell for his free shot and is good.
down for a second shot there. No good. And Boozer with a high jump to pull down the rebound. And he gets the ball now after the pass to escape out of double team. Gets passed back the ball. And now Baxter goes under the hoop. Gets the points on the reversal, and he'll go to the line to shoot one more. One shot. Dan Baxter will get one shot at the line. 149 remaining. And that is Benton. Benton is being fouled out. We have Nathan Com North filling in for him. Nathan being uh, 13, number 13. And here we have Foster's going to sit out, and Joseph Chapman will step in. And Dan Baxter at the line has 14 points tonight. Wow. And there, Boozer with a nice rebound and two. Rebound in the air and shot in the air too. Bring 62 to Juno and 47 Zika. But then Joseph Chapman fouls. Fouls. Who was that? Nathan Commodore. And that was his fourth foul tonight. Nathan on the line there. With 142 remaining in the fourth. Nathan, he's kind of pumping up the ball there. Nathan gets lined up, Nathan shoots, and it's good. And that cuts the lead down to, let's see, how many points? I don't know, it scores 62 to 48. I believe that's Nathan's first point this whole game. And the rebound's pulled down by Baxter. Pass ball to Boozer, back to Baxter, who's double teamed, and now down to Ridgeway. Boozer with an open drive, lays it up on the right side. 22 points for Boozer tonight. No less than 130 remaining in the game here. Tito with the ball. That looks like a carry. Tito charge with carry. Charge with carry? I mean a carry. <laughs> Here we have Trumbull, who just subbed in, passed the ball down to Carpinetti, driving down the left side, inside pass to Boozer, and he's fouled on his layup. And he'll again go to the line. He's been put to the line probably six or five or six times tonight. I just realized something. What? You know, we uh, announced both games and when they both dunked. Hmm? That was Ben Eagle, right? Dunked one, and you're announcing that. Oh, yeah. And we were here, we saw that. And then, mm -hmm. uh, Boozer. Yep. Uh, he's good at those twos. Uh, ones. Uh, yeah. Free throws. That's what they are. Yep. Minute 19 left. Boozer shooting a second shot. Koosh is that one. is eighth for the night. Score six, 66 now to 48 with Juno's lead. Hero has the ball, Hero at 4 2. I didn't go in. Rebound pulled down by Carperetti, bringing the ball down. Long pass, but it. Took him by Campbell, but it's out of bounds. So I believe it's going to be Juno's ball. Yes, sir. Kevin Trumbull getting ready to inbound the ball. And there's a timeout called. Timeout by Juno, I believe. Yes, sir. A minute 04 remaining in the fourth quarter. There we have sick of teams there. Talking over with the coach. There's a score for you. 66, Juno, 48, Sika, 104 remaining. As you can see, the stands are, are packed. I believe the, uh, all the tickets were sold out. And that's raised the temperature in this gym by several degrees. Actually, I'm feeling a breeze now. I am too. Ridgeway inbounds ball to Foster and up to Chapman. Chapman back down to Vanderjack, who had just subbed in. I didn't see him sub in, and so it took me a minute to uh, 
find his name there. We have 55 seconds remaining in our fourth quarter. Ten fouls for both teams. And Foster at the line is going to get to shoot two. He has five points tonight, and he cooches his first shot. I think the breeze is in the crowd. <laughs> Just might be. And Foster's second shot's no Took good. Took it by Nathan Commodore on the rebound. Nathan going down there. Nathan to Keta Keta four three, and it is good. Oh, oh nice shot by Keta. Fifty-one Sika, sixty-seven Juno. Ridgeway on the inbounded pass gets immediately fouled. And that'll send him down the line. That stops the clock at 40 seconds to go. In this fourth quarter, very good game. Although the Juno Bears have been able to pull away by 16 points now. Score 67 to 51. Well, we have uh, Jared Herak going out for, and we have number 12, Jared. Run. He's a sophomore. Robert Ridgway goes up for his first shot, but that's no good. And now he gets the ball from the ref, and he'll get to shoot a second shot. Goes up, and that one goes in, nothing but net. Player switch there. We have Carl Jordan going in for Pat Cranenoff. Sika. Nathan Commodore with the ball now. Going to take it down for Sika. Nathan to Jordan. Jordan drives in. Jordan for two. It's off the backboard. Foul's going to be called. He draws the foul on Michael Vanderjack. That's his first foul tonight. That's Carl Jordan at the line now, just put in. Carl Jordan for his first shot, in front. Carl Jordan going for his second shot there. Carl Jones. Carl Jordan, and it go in, but rebounded by Casey Campbell. Casey Campbell for two. 53 Sika, 68 Juno. And the ball is now inbounded. Vanderjack with the ball, passes off to Cart, and now off to Foster. Foster, long pass down court, picked up by Treston. And look, we have some painted fans out there for the Bears. <laughs> now, Carl, going on. Carl Jordan, Carl Jordan passes down for the final, didn't go in. Look and the, there's the buzzer, and uh, look at the rush. The whole pep band and Juno fans rushing on the court to congratulate all their members on a job well done. Dyed hair there, painted faces. That's like the 60s. <laughs> I don't know, I wasn't there. A whole lot of school spirit being shown by both teams, and there they congratulate each other. I'd like to graduate Glacier Bears and Sika High, both a very good team there. Mm -hmm. They're graduating up. Uh, that's a funny word, but they're, you know, greeting each other, saying good job. And that's about all we have for you tonight. That's the end of game 20. Do we say the final score? Uh, I don't think so. Well, how about we say it, then? Okie dokie. Juno Crimson Bears had a score of 68. And Sika High Wolves has 53. So the Crimson Bears pull it off by 15 points. And... Uh, that puts them in first place for 4A during for the Region 5 tournament. Well, this is Peter Williams. And this is Elias Ferguson. And we'll be signing off now. And uh, hope you enjoyed our broadcasting. We did. <laughs>